the power to know, not knowledge. Knowledge may come from books, but the power to know, how much can we know? You know, we can incorporate information, but we may not really understand what that information means beyond the meaning of the words. We may not be able to perceive the reality that these words are pointing to. So she says that the, the power to know does not come merely from books, but mostly from the actual practice of altruism in deed, word, and thought. So this is an interesting concept. The power to know comes from a particular way of living, a theosophical way of living, let's say. Why, she says, for that practice purifies the covers of the soul and permits its light to shine down into the brain mind. In the theosophical view, um, we as a soul have far more knowledge, insight, understanding than what we can show when we are expressing ourselves through a body. Because the body is a veil, is an, uh, an, a kind of screen that mm, presents an obstacle for us to access our intrinsic wisdom uh, when we are acting through the body. So it is through a theosophical way of living, this kind of living that the master was describing, uh, a way that is ethical, universal, based on charity and love, etc. This kind of living begins to purify our body, not only the physical body in the theosophical view, there are other bodies also, the astral or emotional, the mental, etc. This way of live, living purifies all these bodies so that the light from the soul, which is our true nature, can shine through the body so that we can retain in our waking consciousness, the consciousness that is using the body, we can retain our ability as a soul to perceive things as they are. When Blavatsky describes what she calls the higher ego, uh, ego meaning I-ness, the higher sense of uh, spiritual I-ness in us, she says that uh, at that level, we, are, we have a, what is called inherent omniscience, meaning whatever we perceive as a soul, when we are not um, limited by the body, whatever we perceive, we perceive it correctly as it is. Once we come into uh, expressing ourselves through the bodies, then that possibility um, becomes dimmed by matter. So it is through an actual theosophical living that we can make these bodies um, assimilate or first be in tune with our true nature and then assimilate, receive, express our true nature.